All right. Hey, world. It's uh, President's Day today, and how uh, gracious of this country um, to allow the financial sector to have the day off. So, if you work in the finance sector, um, and I don't work in the finance sector, however, the nature of the business that I do work for is in the finance se sector, and therefore, we have the day off. And I've been wanting to talk about this topic um, for quite some time. Um, hmm, my face looks ashy, but it's not. I did apply lotion. Um, I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a while. And I just haven't gotten around to it. And as you can see, I want to talk about um, the whole he's just not that into you uh, concept and, and, and theory, if you will. And no particular event or situation provoked this video. It's just something that I have been wanting to talk about to the ladies out in the world uh, for quite some time because I see it all the time. Like I see the same common mistakes made by women over and over and over again when they are involved in relationships with men. And... Um, I should say that these are my experiences or my commentary that you are about to witness is based upon my experience personally as well as experiences that I have witnessed other ladies go through and I personally believe that what I'm going to tell you is the truth and it's tried and true because I have seen it manifest not only in my own personal experiences, but in other experiences before. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? So, this big thing, there's a movie about it. Um, he's just not that into you. There's, um, I think Kevin Hart has some kind of movie in reference to it. And we've talked about it. We've, we've cried about it, certainly, over and over again. And what are we really talking about? I'm talking about men who are not that into the woman and she does not recognize the signs or she does not develop the courage to move forward simply. Now, again, these are from my own personal experiences, so therefore I am too one of the clan. Like I've been in relationships where um, the man was just not that into me and because I was so into him, I just stayed around, stuck around, was a fool, um, got led and strung along, only in the end to end up heartbroken. Because once our feelings become involved, um, and once that love thing, and love for me in, in, in English, we only have one word for love. In other languages, they have multiple words for the word love because the word love has different meanings. So, I hate the English version of love because love carries so many different meanings. But once we feel emotion or once we feel admiration, once we feel intimacy, connection, lust for this person, um, typically all else goes out the window. And that's what I want to talk about, really. Um, my own personal situation, I, I'll, I'll share, I'll share, was where I was in a relationship, and that's at the bare minimum of the word, like bare, bare minimum, no dating, no um, dinners, no movies, just relationship. <laughs> If you know what I mean. And I really care for this person. And I do believe that the other person, the guy, he did care about me in the basic sense of the word. I don't think that he would want any hurt, harm, or danger to come to me as a person. And I do believe that he genuinely had some type of regard for my well-being. However... At the end of it all, I kept telling him that I am not the one that you are looking for. 
And in an effort to preserve the pea, which I have another video about that, preserving the pea. In an effort to preserve the pea, he kept um, insisting that that wasn't true. However, still, the actions were no dating, no movies, no other interaction other than talking on the phone, he'll come into my house, I'm coming to his house in the night or mid-morning hours, and that's it. Um, there was no, let me cook dinner for you, or none of that. And I was in agreement with that. That was the situation that I signed up for. So it wasn't as if I went into the situation unknowingly. Um, it's what I it's what I was looking for at that particular time in my life but um, when I got to the point to where I wanted more from someone else and began to size up what's going on around me and who's in my life and who's not I wanted to cancel that out like I wanted to cancel it and he just kept insisting that you know that I was making things up and he was really into me and I'm like dude you're not and long story short um, I moved away, and no sooner than I moved away, um, I found out that he had a kid on the way, he had a girlfriend he moved in with, and yada, yada, yada. And so that th that proved my point. That proved the point that I wasn't what you are looking for. I was, I was definitely what you wanted to um, pass time with. But I was not what you were looking for in the long-term aspect. And all of these excuses kept coming up as to why I was not, or he was not ready for a girlfriend, quote unquote. But lo and behold, you were ready pretty quickly <laughs> when she came along. So I have been seeing this over and over. And some of the signs that a dude is really not feeling you or let me just say you are not the one because that's what it really boils down to it boils down to you not being the one and that is okay like that is okay ladies if you are not what he is looking for that is okay because you want to save yourself time and not waste it by trying to be or fit the mold that he's looking for i'm gonna say this and I always say this, and I know it's true, you can refute it, you can dispute it, you can debate it, do whatever you want, but this is true. When a man knows what he wants, he gets it. I'm gonna say it again. When a man knows what or who he wants, he gets it. He goes hard after it. Now that could be, and I always give the example, dude in the basement, my apple fell. Dude in the basement, of his mama's house with no job and he sees a car that he wants. Homeboy goes gung-ho, hook a crook to get that car with the rims and the sounds and the paint job, yada, yada, yada. Or however he gets it. And I have seen it done where a man sees a woman that he really is feeling he's really into, he is not going to stop until it comes to the point to where it's just like, Psh, dude, I'm just no I don't want you and even then it's like it's it's a low it's a blow to him but he will go very very hard in the paint for a woman that he really wants to be with so do not and I repeat do not be out here ladies with these men who are not going hard for you it does not take one year two years one month two months one hour <laughs> no it might take an hour but he knows very quickly if he doesn't know as soon as he puts his eyes on you he knows the man knows that you are going to be his wife fairly quickly it does not take all day and if he tells you that uh i'm just not ready or i need more time or you know i i need to be around for a year no he is simply waiting biding his time with you and waiting for that right one to come along and when she does walk past him he's gonna know right away and you will be history trust me when I tell you other things that you should be looking for is excuses on not to present you publicly I have seen this a couple of times in the past few months 
and I was telling my husband about this, that um, any dude that has an excuse, such as I'm a private person, or I don't like my business in the streets, he is playing you, playing you hard for a fool. Um, if he's on social media, and let me say, when I mean he's on social media, he's on social media posting actively, okay? Um, not just a lurker, just scrolling through. Now, if you see activity before you got with him on his social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, whatever, and then you guys are in a quote-unquote relationship, and you don't see any acknowledgement of this relationship or the fact that he's happy to be in a relationship or happy that he found someone that he really wants to be with, he's playing you. That means he has chicks out there in the universe that he potentially does not want to upset with the fact that he has found someone and therefore he is not posting it. And his excuse is, I don't put my business out there. I don't uh, want everybody to know my business or I'm a private person. That is B. S. When a man knows what he wants, he will let every other man in the world know that you belong to him. Period. <laughs> end of story. End of discussion. He will let everybody know that. That you belong to him. So, if... And I'm not saying that, that it has to be just overkill with the posts. Like you know, every day with the post. Oh, I'm just so in love with my girl. No, it does not have to be that. And it can be just one post or it can be something very subtle or simple. But if there is no acknowledgement publicly, um, if you're not meeting his friends, his circle of friends, his, um, if you don't know his people, his, his family, he's playing you. He is pay playing you and you are what they potentially, what they call potentially a side chick. Or you could be in line to becoming a side chick. Because when when he sees what he wants, it's he's going to get that. And then he'll buy time with you, especially if you're giving up the pee. He'll preserve the pee with you for as long as he can because it's comfortable and familiar until the shit hit the fan. And then you'll be out the door. And then you'll be broken hearted. And then you be pissed off and can't figure out how to move on. And let me say this. This does not just apply to single folks. This also applies to folks who have gotten married. Because a lot of people have gotten married under the false pretense that this is the one that I want to be with. And a lot of people have gotten married under the false pretense that marriage is just this pie in the sky idea that where you have a nice big fluffy wedding and everybody comes and it's so grand and then they drink, eat, and be merry and probably even bring you a dang on gift, but maybe they do and you get really nice things and some good money and your man's all that and you drive a nice car, he has a nice job and then you don't have one clue on how to work that thing not one not one clue on how to work it not one clue on how to be in a relationship and so being married is nothing it's it's being and let me rephrase that being married with the paper on paper is nothing if you do not put your heart your mind your body and your soul into that relationship it's nothing. And this is why we see so many people divorced because they go into marriage with the pie in the sky idea thinking that marriage is the end all be all. And no, marriage is just the beginning of sharing your life with someone else's life and bringing that into alignment so that you benefit the world in a positive way. So that you do good in the world together as a team, as one. It's not this, um, it's not the, it's not the end, it's not the end of the relationship journey. It's not, oh, well, I've been, you know, with this guy for five years and now we're finally married and that's it. No, that's just the beginning. And that's why so many people are divorced because they think that that, that's the end of, that's the end of, like, that's the result that you want to get to. That's why I don't subscribe to the whole you have to be married on paper or considered married by a preacher or the state in order to be married it's up here and it's in here it's not on the paper <laughs> so 
Um, and and quite honestly, I don't I don't think that. And this is a whole different uh, video, but um, being married before God does not mean or require that you have to go before a preacher in order to do it. You just have to go before God, and God is where everywhere so you just have to go with that person with the commitment and the mindset and the mind frame that you and him will be one and you will work together for this thing called life so um i don't subscribe to the other stuff i i saw some posts about um oprah and stedman posted a valentine's day picture yesterday she said 30 years strong that they have been together and folks were knocking her like well when you gonna get married already oh i didn't know y'all was married when well, y'all living in sin no it's evident it's clear they're in commitment it's clear they're in covenant before god they don't need a piece of paper to de to define that or to, to to determine that that man is already committed he stayed there and see that's my point when a man wants you he will be there. He'll be there for you. His actions speak. His words speak. His heart speaks. Everything speaks. And I had to learn that too. Because before my husband came along, before my Lance came along, I had been going through the same crap over and over and over, knowing, knowing this information. And it got to a point to where I would just cut dudes off at the pass. Like, uh, okay, so what are we doing? Oh, okay, I'm going to need you to do that over here. And if you want some type of other arrangement, we could talk about that possibly until I get to where I need to be. But you don't get no stake because I don't have any stake in your life. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep it moving down the line. But when my husband came into the picture, everything was different. And everything that I had theorized, I had thought, I had thunk, everything came to life in color because everything that I have been saying, which I said that I would write a book about all of this after I got married. So I had to get married first and the book is still forthcoming at some point in my life. But it came, it all came into view, into clear and perfect view and it all made sense to me. So ladies, if you are out here with somebody right now and you have that feeling that he may not be into you and you have that conversation with him and ask him what it is that he wants. He should be honest enough to tell you whether or not it's you. And if he's not honest enough and he's shucking and jiving and giving you excuses, and then you need to keep going. You need to find someone else. And you need to do it before you invest all of your heart into it because ladies, let me tell you, that heartbreak is not fun it's a beast it is a beast i'm talking about it doesn't take um it's not a, a a go away in one week type of situation this is sometimes this is years this this damage this bitterness this anger years and it can even happen when you're married if you're married to someone that is not into you and only married you for whatever reason that they had to marry you whether it was money or some other incentive or just to pass the dang on time because dudes are doing that too and that's even trickier because everything is invested at that point everything and if you have children everything is invested including your children and that's a hard thing to break out of because you you're gonna literally go through the stages of grief just like when somebody dies. When that relationship dies, you go through every single phase. Sadness, anger, resentment, guilt, forgiveness, acceptance, everything. And then at some point, whether it's one year, two years, three years. I know for me at one point, it was five years before I woke up and said, let me move the hell on. <laughs> let me get on down the line. And it's funny because I was functioning as if I was moving. <laughs> But I, really, I wasn't really moving. And I kept making the same mistake over and over and over. Until I finally said, no, I'm not moving. I'm making this. I'm just, I'm here, but I'm not even here. So, with that said, ladies, all I'm saying is, is that you need to evaluate your relationships right now with everybody. <laughs> with um, 
with people in general. And if they're not being genuine, they're not showing you or reciprocating what you are providing to them, you need to cut them loose. You need to let them go. So if he's not that into you, find you something else to do because I guarantee he already got something else to do too. Peace.